Welcome to Your Students, Your Schools. We're here in beautiful San Miguel today to see some more exemplary education on the Central Coast. Come along. Oh, just being with the kids and, 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 and teaching them. And one of the things, like I said, is teaching with meaning. It's like even when they sing the national anthem, I just don't want them to sing, I want them to learn. When we learn something, it's, it's hands-on and makes me really feel good when they learn something and they take it with them and, and they apply it or, or, or they're writing or, they, or they're reading at the end of the school year. We all basically get so happy because they're all reading at the end of the school year. And they're not supposed to technically, you know, because they've transitioned to kindergarten. But I just take them up to their potential, to their level, whatever they want to do and whatever they, they're capable of. Hi, I'm Judy Bedell, principal at Lillian Larson School in San Miguel and we're really excited to be able to showcase some of the things we have going on here. Today is Read Across America Day. It's a day we bring in local celebrities and dignitaries and former school board members to read to our students. Um, it's just one example of some of the big things at small schools that we have going on at Lillian Larson School. The pigs decided they were tired of slop. <laughs> And the pig said, Ole! <laughs> trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge, and the bridge started to sway and swing. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Okay. Who's trapping on my bridge? Roared the Goldman. Troll. Troll. Would you, could you, on a boat? In un barco? B. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in the, eat them in a house. I will not eat them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Ah, oh, anywhere. Wow. It goes. I do not like green eggs and ham. No me gusta huevos verdes con Okay, happy birthday, Dr. Seuss and Pat. One of the other big things at our small school is some opportunities we have for middle school students, especially in the area of hands-on and problem-solving engineering STEM. Um, things like build an engineer day, spaghetti tower problem solving. We're hoping we ignite their creativity and show them possible leads to college and career things beyond San Miguel Schools. So we're very proud of the fact that we offer all of our middle school students one-to-one -one devices. They each have their own Chromebook that they can take home and use at home um, to work on their projects at school for homework. So today you're gonna see some coding opportunities, teaching the students early engineering skills, as well as how Chromebooks are used in the classroom in a flipped classroom situation. So are you all working at the same time on the, on the computer? So when you type, he can see it, and when you type, he can see it? And how about on the screen up top? Does that show up there too? So when I taught, I used to teach at Flamson, so I taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. I'd be walking around making sure everybody's doing their work, and, and, and I, it doesn't look like she has been asking. Everybody's on task right now, because you're doing something new. It's, it's a little better than just writing your times tables or something? Good. So Judy, tell us a little bit about uh, how did this garden come to be? Well, we were really lucky. In 2011, uh, Savor the Central Coast, which is sponsored by Sunset Magazine, um, donated this demo garden after their event to our school. And they also donated the proceeds to be able to fully set up the irrigation. So we've had the uh, opportunity to have this garden facility since 2011 here on site. That's wonderful. Sponsored by Savor the Central Coast. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it most effectively used for during the school day? Well, we have a real unique situation in that our garden guru is also our special education intervention teacher. And she has planned intervention services through agriculture. And the beauty of that is there's something magical about getting your hands in the dirt mm -hmm. and planting a seed, nurturing it, waiting for it to sprout, taking care of it, harvesting it. All those skills that we want our at-risk kids to learn, we're accomplishing through agriculture. And we feed the cafeteria uh, food service line with it also. So, so hands-on education and the food ends up in your cafeteria for a great lunch. Yeah, and kids are excited about it. That's outside. wonderful. 
<laughs> so what do you like about doing the gardening? Um, the thing I like about doing the gardening is um, I like learning about all the food that we grow and how to make how to grow the plants. So I understand you do apple grafting with Dr. Joe at Cal Poly. Tell me about that. Yes, he's a, a professor that I used to have and, and uh, we've stayed connected and he's been coming out to my school and teaching apple grafting for 12 years now. Um, we are one of the first junior high classrooms that he's done apple grafting with and he continues to come. So. That's excellent. So Cal Poly's working directly with your campus and your students here. Yeah, this year they had eight, eight uh, Cal Poly students from the crop science department come and, and uh, assist students with apple grafting. So that was really nice to see. Uh, Little Larson School is a great school. We have uh, wonderful staff here. The students are great. We're getting, I'm getting to know them uh, better and better every day, and they, they're doing a good job for us. They're enthusiastic and uh, love working with them. In our exploratory program, which is our Wednesday middle school electives, we've brought in a game of life. A lot of these students don't come from uh, homes where a lot of English is spoken and they may not know about some of the life skills such as budgeting, why you don't want to get a credit card, how to plan out to save money for a car, and so Mr. DiMatteo teaches the game of life. We are very excited that we're probably one of the only middle schools in San Francisco County that still has a woodshop program. It was an idea that came about about three years ago, and I was reading my woodworking magazine, and it said, as your New Year's resolution, be a mentor to a young person in the, uh, in the area of woodworking. So my idea was to bring it here to school, and with the support of the administration and the school board, as well as the San Miguel Lions Club and the Central Coast Woodworkers Association, this came about. Our first projects were uh, to build our our uh, woodworking benches, our, our workstations, as well as wire it on the underside so each student would have a workstation. And then from there it was to teach students how to use age-appropriate power tools and how to uh, express themselves artistically through woodworking. And through that they're using uh, scroll saws and jig saws as well as hand saws and miter saws and electric sanders, belt sanders, spiral drum sanders, orbital sanders. Uh, a variety of tools are also learning how to use uh, primer, and uh, finish their work with uh, aerosol spray paints and then they assemble their work and they can take it home. My name is Adriana and I like this class because we get to do fun things and use the tools. Hey, hello, my name is Miguel um, and I like this class because we get, to, we get to do whatever we want in wood and we actually get to cut the wood and use the tools to make it look right. My name is Adira and I like this class because we can paint and we can use the, the tools. I've made a love sign, um, hearts stuck together um, with, an X, with X's and O's. My name is Kuno and I like this class because we can be creative with them and we can use the tools and learn how to use them. My name is uh, Miss Schofield, and I am the principal here at Cappy Culver Elementary. I'm Lorinda Roberts, and I am a student liaison and volunteer at Cappy. I love being here at Cappy Culver because the community is so supportive, and the students are amazing. As you walk through the halls here, they all want to give you a hug. They all want to give you a high five, mm -hmm. and they all have big, huge smiles on their face. And you walk into Cappy Culver at any time, whether it's through the doors or out on the playground, and you see kids that are happy to be here. They're having a great time. They, um, for the most part, get along great. Um, they're just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, small setting school. People that get monkeys as pets, you know what they do? They feed them ice cream, soda pop, potato chips, hamburgers. Yeah, because it's cute. It's cute to go to McDonald's with your monkey. But can they grow up to be big and strong if that's all they ate was junk food? I want to hear a little better note than that. <laughs> what we do is we take care of animals, obviously. You guys are coming to an animal assembly, duh. But these animals that we take care of at our zoo are all rescue animals. We have what's called a rescue zoo. It's different than a normal zoo. We're not open to the public. You can't come and just look at an animal in a cage. That's not what we're about. We're about the animals coming to you. 
zoo to you, not you to zoo. We work really hard uh, on creating social skills groups so that the kids get to know each other on a different level. So they may not be students that would hang out on the weekends together, but when they're here, they engage with each other. And I think that's, that's one of the special things about our school. If you never try, you'll never know. When I get a good photo, it's like, okay, they will really like that um, picture. And when they see it, they're like, oh, who took that photo? But one of the best tools is when we add photos to the library, we can categorize them. So, for example, if Kelly goes in and takes pictures of the fifth grade, she can tag those to fifth grade. And then when she goes to create that yearbook page, she can pull up all the fifth grade photos from the whole year. They took a field trip, like two or three weeks ago. And then at when it was their class, I interviewed them and then wrote an article about it. The kids can come to, we have a Lego club, but when they come to Lego club, all different kids come together and play Legos and it's a great way to come, to, to come together. So our tree provides apples for the juice that I'm making. To do this, Who's taking a picture right now with their camera? So now drag your picture over there. There you go, Jaden. Hi, I'm Mrs. Beckman. This is my kindergarten classroom. And I would just like to share with you um, my children working on really what is basic coding. They're called Bebots. They're telling the Bebots, which are these little robots, how to get to their destination. Hi, I'm Melinda Gray and I'm a teacher here at Kathy Culver. And today we have our career day. And behind me you can see we have PG&E. And we also have the California Highway Patrol and the Paso Robles PD along with some other local businesses. And the students today are learning all about careers that they might want to follow through with later in their life. Thank you for joining us at Cappy Culver Elementary and Lillian Larson, two wonderful schools here in the San Miguel Joint Union School District. Thank you.